Hello everybody, my name is XYZ Designs here with another Adobe After Effects CS5 tutorial. Today is on the loading bar which I have released as a test um, which is on my channel. And here it is in front of you. It's just a simple loading bar with a slider and a percentage below it. So we're just going to get straight into making a new composition and make this um, a preset HDTV 720p <coughs> and it's just create it uh, 1280 by 720p and 30 frames per second I'm going to use the duration 20 seconds and uh, the background color black <coughs> uh, I'm going to rename this main as this is our going to be our main um, composition which we're going to finish it up but first of all we're going to create another composition which is going to be our slider composition um, compos composition and just call this slider <clears throat> and um, for this one we're just going to change the width and height to 800 pixels by 50 pixels and keep everything else the same just click OK and um, now um, what we need to do is to create this loading bar I'm going <coughs> to I'm going to create an outline and uh, the slider going along. So if we go back over to slider and uh, to create the outline, if you just go up to the square, double click, and this will just create it the box um, the same width as the composition size. And um, if I just oh, hide that, if you have fill on, say a different color like that, and um, to get rid of it, you just hold Alt, click fill, click fill again, and click it one more, and it will just have a, a red line for it. That means it is off. And to get this, excuse me, and to get the stroke on, just click the stroke and uh, choose the color you want. I'm going to use white for this tutorial. Click OK, and um, uh, this is the stroke width, and uh, choose whatever size you would like, uh, which is good for you. <coughs> now I'm going to animate and uh, create the slider which comes along here. If you right-click down here, click New Solid, make comp size, and then. Um, the color which you want the slider, I'm going to have it the same um, color as the outline. Just click OK after that. Now we're just going to animate this from here and so it comes off the screen and goes along. So if we just um, go down to the transform options and go to position, go to the end of your timeline and um, click the stopwatch, and then go to the start of your timeline and um, type in here minus 400 like that and then that will just create another keyframe and um, that is basically it for the slider just like that <coughs> and um, now what we need to do is create a null object so right click new null object and then if you go to your effects and presets um, option if you type in slider slider it will come up with slider control and just click and drag that onto your null object like this uh, <coughs> and this will just come up with the size so I don't really want that up uh, <coughs> now what we need to do is go into our main and uh, drag the slider composition into our main composition this will center it right in the middle unless you uh, drag it on like this uh, <coughs> as you can see it's already animated and um, to get the percentage on it we're just going to create a new text to go up to the text tool click and um, type in just four, four numbers, uh, I'm just going to go four zeros, so that's five, <coughs> like that, and uh, make sure you choose a font which doesn't uh, go up and down so it's all the same. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, sorry about that. <coughs> right, now you've created the um, text, just uh, doesn't really matter where that's placed at the moment. And go over to your slider. Sorry again. Yeah, go over to your slider and um, if you tick down onto the null object and go to effects, slider control, and um, we're going to animate our slider. So if we go, if we click stopwatch at the start of your um, timeline and then go to the end of your timeline and um, just type in here 100 and then I'll create another um, keyframe just like that. <coughs> now, if you grab this little hand on the side and click to the side here that will create it so you can see both timelines and um, now what we're going to do is just drop down from the text on your main um, composition go down to text and if you 
you see the source text what you're going to do is alt and click the stopwatch this will bring up the expressions if you grab this tail whip and bring it over to the slider like that uh, what's it done? now if we just bring that back over to here yeah, it will bring up this um, you can see the numbers already come up like this and um, it sprung up the expression here <clears throat> now as you can see it's got loads of decimal points after each number but it is going up by um, it is going up to a hundred and um, going from zero <clears throat> so what we want to round this up to just one number with no decimal points is if you just click here and click right at the start and if you type in capital M for math dot round and then open bracket and then closed bracket like that and then if you click off that it will round it up to um, the next number like that now all we need to do is animate the number along with the slider <clears throat> so you can close your slider composition if you like you don't need that anymore so we just close that actually we, know. <laughs> uh, we don't need we just need the transform open now and if we go to position we um, zoom in and uh, position the zero exactly <coughs> this uh, thing on the side of the slider like uh, that will be uh, off so we line it up exactly with the um, end of here and if you click position there and then if you go over to the end and um, drag this over to the end of oh, I'll just zoom out drag this over and if you hold shift it will do it in exactly a straight line and if you just line this up with the uh, end here like that it will create another keyframe and um, it made it animated uh, I can't see it <coughs> uh, just, there you go and if you select off, it has been animated with it. But as you can see, it does sort of go off. So what we need to do is select the text tool. Actually, we need to bring up character and um, go to paragraph. Make sure this is on. Um, oh, make sure this is on the thing tool like that. I'll sort of mugged it up in a minute. <coughs> but yeah that's basically how you do it, <laughs> if you do that before then you can get it lined up exactly right I haven't so sorry about that, Just um, if you just move this to the right of it it will be lined up perfectly um, now to get the percentage to follow it, the percentage sign, just um, create another text and um, if you hold shift and 5 on a PC it will create the percentage sign so just line that up with the uh, text and if we create the, get this tail whip and uh, pull it over to our other, our number thing, it will follow exactly what that's doing and just follow it like that. So uh, yeah, that's how to create a simple slider in Adobe After Effects. You can also add the loading like I did. And um, that's about it. So thank you for watching and uh, goodbye. Hope you enjoyed.